Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the beautiful city of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine here in Europe. And I'm about five kilometers directly south from the center of this beautiful city, visiting a huge park dedicated to museums and monuments and commemorating the victory of the Soviet Union over Nazi Germany in 1945. And here in the middle of the park we find these huge sculptures that you see here, very, very Soviet in style. But beautiful nevertheless. The reason we are here in this beautiful park is to visit that beautiful monument that you see up there. This is the Motherland Monument erected in 1981 when there was still a Soviet Union from down here, we'll get a beautiful view of the monument. We're gonna go higher and get better views of it up close. But I wanted to show you for a couple of minutes this beautiful scalp source here, very, very Soviet, once again in style. You cannot miss the fact that these are Soviet sculptures from the architectural and design perspective. Here's another look and now let's turn around and let's visit this fascinating monument up there which is one of the main landmarks for the city of Kiev. Let's do it. Okay I have uh, now made it to the top of the hill where this beautiful monument is built on. The Motherland Monument. Over 62 meters in height. That would make it about 190 feet. The sword alone that you see that she's holding on her right hand is about 12 meters about 38 feet in length and it is absolutely gorgeous the whole structure I mean it shines in the sunshine and if you come to Kiev and you take the train from the airport to the center of the city you're gonna see it and it is absolutely beautiful made out of uh, stainless steel that's why it shines It required over 30 kilometers of welding in order to put all these small plates of steel together. At one time, people were allowed to go to the bottom of the base right there. It has now been closed. So this is as far as we're going to go. And once again, this is a main landmark, one of the main landmarks for the city of Kiev. The Ukrainians are very, very proud of it. Now, the Lonely Planet is really making fun of this monument. They are saying, as soon as you see it, you're going to say, what the hell is it? That's their expression they used on the book. Well, if this monument was in Paris, it would have been a major tourist attraction. And the London Planet would have dedicated a whole chapter on it but because it, it is here in Kiev that gives them the license to make fun of it. You can see it is absolutely beautiful. On her left hand she's holding a shield with a sign of the Soviet Union. That's because the monument was erected when there was a Soviet Union before the collapse of the Soviet Union and before the hostilities started during the Orange Revolution between Russia and Ukraine. 
stunning, really. So beautiful. This is my third time here. And I always enjoy the views and the sunshine of this beautiful monument. And uh, here's another view. Here's our very last view of this beautiful monument here in Kiev. It is a feminine figure holding a sword and a shield. And of course it symbolizes mother Soviet Union protecting its people. Symbolically from Nazi Germany and from other enemies. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from Kiev in Ukraine. Bye-bye.